What's that? Clues. Clues. I think, year twos, if we've got some clues today, you're going to have to be detectives and help me. What we're going to have to do is use these clues to help us infer lots of things about the book we're going to be reading. Can you remember what inferring is? It's where we take a small piece of information and use it to make intelligent guesses about what it's telling us about. So in this case, we're going to use these clues to infer different things about what the book that we're reading is going to be about. I'm excited. Okay. Oh, it's so cold. Oh my gosh, there's ice. There's so much ice in here. I think that's definitely a clue that might help me infer something about the book. You have a think. Oh, oh it's so cold. Let me see if I can find a clue. I've got two clues. That one looks like snow. What do you think that is? I think it looks like an igloo. What could those clues help tell us about the book? Could they tell us about where the book is set? Maybe. We'll have to have another look for some more clues. Oh, I've got to warm my hands up to go back in with the ice. Oh, oh my gosh, there's some snow. Big bit of snow. Wow. Okay. Right, 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 right. Oh, I think I found another clue. Oh, what's that a picture of? It looks like a wolf and, and somebody maybe. What could that help us infer about the book? Maybe it would Maybe it would help us work out who the book's going to be about. Maybe. I'm not sure. Right. Back into the ice. Oh, some blue ice this time. Oh, I feel like my fingers are going to fall off. Ooh. Two more clues. Okay. That. Looks like some fish, doesn't it? And some water. And that looks like a whale. Oh, what could they tell us about the book? I wonder if they could help tell us about what's going to happen. Hmm. You're going to have to be better detectives than I am, year two. Right. I should have bought some gloves, shouldn't I? Right, back in. More ice. <gasps> I found another clue. Ooh, this one looks really different. It's really colourful. It looks like a bird and a bear. I wonder what that can help us infer about the book. I'm really not sure. There's so many clues. Right, let me see if there's any more in here. I'm gonna have to delve really deep. Oh. oh, two more clues. Right. That looks like another picture of the little bear. Hmm. But it looks like there's some shells as well. I wonder what that means. Oh, and here's a picture of an actual polar bear. We've got so many different clues. So we've got a polar bear and some water and an igloo. Oh, I hope you're better at putting these together than I am. Right, back into the cold. Oh, I think there's two more clues. I think, there's one, I've got it. 
I'm not sure what this one's a clue of, year two. What does that look like? Hmm. Looks really colourful, doesn't it? I don't know, you're going to have to have some guesses, I wonder. I wonder what it could tell us about the book. We've got so many interesting clues, right? I think this might be the last clue. I'm getting really cold. Right, more ice, more ice. Ooh. I wonder what this is here too. Looks like somebody's face, doesn't it? And then some fur. Hmm. Wonder if that could tell us about the main character of the story or something else. What do you think? We've got so many clues. So we've got this girl's face. We've got something colourful. We've got a bird and a bear. We've got another picture of the little bear, but he's got some shells around him. We've got a hole in the ice there, look, with some fish. A whale's tail. This looks like a girl and a dog, maybe? Or what, what do you think it is? Another picture of a little polar bear. Some snow. And an igloo. And I can tell you that that box was absolutely freezing. So I think that's another clue about maybe where it's set. So I would love it if you could try and write down some sentences. So we've got some sentence starters for you. Those sentence starters should be on your home learning sheet or if you're in class, they'll be on a PowerPoint slide. So we just wanted you to start sentences saying, I think it's set in, I think the main character is, and I just want you to have a wonder. It doesn't matter if it's right or wrong. I just want you to infer things from the clues that we've found today.